Meet Joe. Joe is an engineer for a manufacturer of high-end electronics. He's just been promoted from machine operator to HSE manager. Now it's Joe's job to safeguard the health and well-being of 120 employees. But when he looks over all the scattered and unstructured documentation, Joe feels uneasy about the lack of overview and control. He needs a system with better procedures and barriers. He chooses Synergy Life. Joe leads the Synergy Life project installation, transferring all the existing documentation and training his colleagues. He reports risks directly into Synergy Life on his phone. He shows people how easy it is. Reports on incidents, near misses and unsafe conditions start to appear in the system and people start taking proactive preventive actions. Now Joe feels more in control of risks. When a forklift backs into a container of fuel, it's easy to report it on an iPad. Joe is particularly interested in barriers to prevent unwanted incidents and to reduce the impact of potential accidents. Using the Bowtie feature of Synergy Life, he can have a live risk and barrier integrity overview. When a barrier is not working properly, he gets an automatic warning. After one year using Synergy Life, Joe knows that there are even more possibilities. To help prevent accidents, Joe provides workers with tailored protective suits with built-in beacon technology. The suit acts as a barrier itself. The suit is only allowed access to certain areas and an alarm will sound if there's a breach. Then a case will be auto-registered in Synergy Life. The next year, Joe achieves even more automation. New sensors on the equipment measure heat, noise, smoke, radiation, electricity or pollutants and report them to Synergy Life. He starts an initiative on machine learning based on data from actual and potential hazards. The computers begin to connect the dots, analyzing complex chains of events that can lead to unwanted incidents. In the third year, Synergy Life offers a live, updated risk status for the whole facility. It uses data from many different sources, input by people and machines. So, the story goes on. Joe and his colleagues are live monitoring barrier integrity, predicting and preventing incidents. They have never been safer. How far have you come on your journey?